Welcome back everybody to this new video of TechPress. Today let's take a look into how we can actually dive into how to connect the two checkout, now known as the very phone, or depending on the country you're currently living. So with your Shopify store, this two checkout is a popular payment getaway that supports various payment methods and currencies. By integrating it with the Shopify, you can expand your payment options and reach a global audience. So to get started, first of all, you have the link down below in the description to have a Shopify store totally for free for a few days and then select different plans for the first months for only $1. Now that we have access to the Shopify dashboard, let's locate here and connect the two checkout to Shopify will enable the process maintenance securely and efficient. So first of all, I'm going to focus here into the section that says settings and focus here into the payments. I'm going to leave this like it. And of course, to connect the two checkout to Shopify will enable you to process payments securely and efficient. So first, we need to have a two checkout account. If we don't have one, first of all, we want to open a new tab. And I'm going to type two checkout uh, account. Or you can go for .com, whatever, or just look at it directly into the Shopify center. So here is the two checkout only payment processor, modern commerce, now known as the Berry phone. So I'm going to accept all the cookies and I'm going to sign in for free. Whether you are for retail or sell online softwares, online services and whatever. So we can accept um, digital goods or for rentals. So it's totally up to you which one would you like to use. Now here it's going to be asking you to sign up. You can use your first, last name, the business email as well as a passcode. The website is really important to be exactly the website they're going to be using, which in this case is the Shopify. And now I'm going to close this, choose the country, enable this and go for get started. Next is going to be asking what type of products you want to sell with the two checkout. This is depending on the online store that you currently have. In my case, let's say that I have some physical products, offline services, uh, online stuff or software and SAI. So it says here that if the business vertical is drop shipping, will be required additional information to be able to underwrite your account. So let's go for create your account and they were actually good to go now usually this might not be available for all the countries so you might want to check out the requirements and the eligibility of the country you're currently living if this one is not available into your website into your country you're currently living you don't have to worry about it you can look out for more a solution. solution. but more on that later once you have created your account it is time to go back into your account or into your gmail account choose here to verify your account. In my case, my logged in email is exactly the same that I'm actually using here. So I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna go here and sign in. And this part is gonna be really important. Once you are into the dashboard of the very phone, uh, what you want to do is to activate your account in order to use it. So to activate your account, what you need to do is choose the option that says start activation. So here you're gonna go for next. I'm gonna add everything about my company name, the business type, the company registration date, the country, the city, the address, the postal code, everything about your store in order to continue. So in this case, let's go for individual, company name, let's go look out for something like this. Fill all the information about your product, your services, account details, to sign a few documents, check out the summary and go for continue. And with that in mind, I'm gonna head back into Shopify and let's go directly into payments. Into payments, I'm going to focus into manage the payments and look out for change the provider. So if I choose another provider, I'm going to go here into the upper side and I'm going to type to check out. If you don't find to check out, we can of course just type check out and select it. Then once you select it, you're going to go into the option that says install. And just like that, your account of the to check out should be added directly into your store. Now, this process is, was really easily to use and the connection was really easily as well. But just in case you are not able to add this integration of the two checkout into your store, you'd have to be worrying about it. Let's go for an alternative solution. If you go into payments, let's go for managed. And here, let's go for change the provider. And instead of typing the two checkout getaway and you don't see it, I'm gonna go here into the upper side and select the payment options that you would like to accept into your store. For example, Google Pay and Apple Pay only. In my case, the best solution for it should be Clover, Airwallex, and Adix elements. So if I select one of those, I'm gonna go for install. 
then it's going to be asking you to make the authorization at the store of your product. And once you have just signed in, the process will be exactly the same. Create an account, verify your business, and then just go back here in order to sign in. After you could choose in a specific payment getaway, in my case, I choose Stripe, I'm going to go for Managed, you should see that your account should be now as active. And then you're actually good to go. So those are ways of how you can enable the two checkout or all the payment provider in order to accept money directly into your website. So with that being said, guys, we have now reached the very end of the video. We covered everything. So if you find this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to Hexprice for more tutorials, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any updates. Thank you once again for watching this video, guys. Hopefully, you can all see you next time.